Hey there, and happy Sunday. Tim from AlphaWolfTrading.com coming at you with this week's sample of stocks to watch from the Pro Trader video that I'll be putting out shortly for the Pro members. Uh, make sure you go over to the blog. Got a breakdown of all the different sectors, and even though we do have a shortened trading week uh, this week with the holiday, uh, a lot of crazy things can happen on uh, short trading weeks, light volume trading weeks. I don't expect to see a bunch of significant volume this week, but you never know because we do actually have some economic data. We've got FOMC minutes that are going to be released. We've got uh, some stuff going on with uh, you know the trade war. So all kinds of stuff happening this week that could impact the market. So you never know, even though I'm not expecting a whole lot of action, anything is possible. So make sure you go over to the blog, break down a lot of sectors. We're starting a new quarter. Uh, it's important, I think, to go through and look at the different sectors and get a feel for what's happening in each of them. So make sure you check that out over at alphawolftrading.com. Let's go ahead and get right into the sample of stocks to watch for next week, M-E-E-T. This thing has been stair-stepping higher. Uh, small, it's fairly small float, 70.6 million shares uh, in the float. It looks like there's some accumulation that's happening in the stock. Uh, nice tight consolidation right on top of the 20-day. Looking for a potential breakout, and if you back this out to the weekly, or not to the weekly, but if you back it out a bit, you will see that there is a gap on the daily that could potentially fill up into about the $5.50 area from where it currently sits. So, you know, maybe you get a five test, you find a little resistance at the round number, and you break through and you get a test of five fifty or so. Uh, you know, solid company, good earnings, good balance sheet. I think it's definitely... One to keep an eye on, not a lot of eyeballs on it currently, uh, but it's been grinding higher. You just had the Golden Cross, the 50-day breaking above the 200-day. The could be a swing, could be a day trading opportunity with good volume. Uh, just one to have on your radar. Nice looking technical setup there. All right, let's move on to the next one. And hold on a second. And we're looking at a recent IPO, PRSP. Now, let me see what this one has in the float. Hold on a second. All right, not sure what the float is on this. Shares outstanding are about 165.7 million shares. Recent IPO, uh, let's see. They don't know what the debt is, or I know what the debt is. I don't know what they have for cash, but... Um, they announced, a high, I think it was a $145 or $149 million contract on Friday. And it did get a little bit of a bounce, but it didn't get a tremendous amount of follow through. Uh, could be an interesting one to keep an eye on for a break over the trend line and reclaiming the 50 day moving average. So it's in a downtrend, maybe looking for a trend reversal here look for some volume it's at least worth having on the radar for maybe a, a day trading opportunity or even a short-term swing get a little three-day pop out of this one worth keeping an eye on p r s p recent ipos been pretty hot so definitely worth keeping an eye on that one all right let's take a look at the next one on the list which is a r w r and if you go over to the blog you'll see that IBB, uh, got my take on the IBB, and uh, I mentioned in that that there are a lot of good looking technical setups still in the biotech space. Uh, and this is one of them, ARWR, really good looking setup here. Had a nice pop, been in consolidation, had a little bit of a pop on Friday, decent volume, 2.3 million shares trading hands, potential $14 holla. Right, take that out. I think potentially we get a move up into the $16 area. Now, you need to make sure that there is not uh, some kind of a significant catalyst here on the horizon. I, I have a uh, site that I suggest on Alpha Wolf Trading that uh, you go and check out to make sure that uh, there isn't any significant catalyst 
uh, on the horizon that could impact the stock. But ARWR, great looking setup on the daily, potential day trading opportunity, and maybe even a higher risk swing if there's nothing out there that could uh, that could be a potential pitfall for ARWR. Definitely worth keeping an eye on ARWR. Love the setup there. All right, GBX, which is a railroad name. Had a big pop on Friday. It's only got 19.7 million shares in the float. Closed nearly at the high of the day. And if you look, if you back it out, uh, it's an area of potential price resistance that it's sitting at. If it can take that out with some conviction, maybe we get a move up into, say, the, uh, let's call it the $60 area. Right up into the $60 area, take that out. Maybe we go test all time highs somewhere around 78 bucks. But uh, small float, big pop, not sure exactly why. It might have been earnings that gave this a pop. Let me take a look here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Reports, yeah, they reported earnings and it looks and their backlog grew. So nice pop off of earnings. And at an area of potential resistance, I happen to have another rail name that I like as well that I'll be sharing with the pro members. But this is a pretty good looking setup here. Maybe what we look for is a red to green and then take out 53.50 uh, 50 with some conviction. Could get a nice pop there in GBX. Definitely worth having on the radar. Smaller float. So keep that in mind, but he traded decent volume on Friday, 1.8 million shares. Uh, TV, TVPT, Travel Port. Uh, great looking setup on the daily here as well. It's been consolidating. Uh, it pulled back below the 20 day, popped back over it on Friday with rising volume, 109 million shares in the float. And let me just back this out to the well, let's just go to the monthly all right so we're at an area that is pretty big area for it right all-time highs um, and it's been grinding higher on the monthly time frame this could be a swing could be a long-term hold consideration uh, maybe you know I mean if we wind up taking out 19 bucks with conviction uh, you're in blue sky territory in TVPT so I, I definitely think worth at least having this one on the radar for potential swing for potential long-term hold could be a day trading opportunity as well if you get some real volume i mean this thing has had some pretty nice spikes so you look for an intraday setup if you get a real nice pop so good looking setup in tvb tvpt and then i'm going to end this with cyrx which is another biotech, or no, I'm sorry. This is, yeah, Cryoport. Actually, it's it's kind of a biotech play. Um, actually, it looks like, uh, I think they do biological samples, stuff like that, shipping in, in uh, cold, cold packaging shipping. And it really has been consolidating beautifully just on top of the 200-day moving average. Got a little bit of a pop on Friday trades, decent volume, 776,000 shares, flirting with the $16 roll, only 27.2 million shares in the float. And let's just back this out to the weekly time frame and see where this puts us. It puts us at an area of potential price resistance, right? So we've, we've got a little bit of resistance in this area. If we can take out uh, $16 with conviction, I think potentially you get a test up into the $18 area. So uh, worth keeping an eye on CYRX as well. Potential day trading opportunity. Now it's had a pretty nice run, but it is consolidating. It looks great. Nice tight candles. Looking for potential move higher. Worth keeping an eye on CYRX. And that is my sample list of stocks to watch for this week. Could be an interesting week. I've got a lot of small cap names and uh, a lot of uh, a couple of recent IPOs on the list for the pro members. Uh, a couple of names that I'm really excited about because I like the uh, the technical setups. A couple of 
stocks that had decent moves on Friday could see red to green plays. But, uh, you know, look, we'll see what happens next week. It could be a, an uneventful week, but we do get the jobs number. We do have the FOMC minutes. We'll see how it all plays out. Be careful out there. Make sure you go to the blog. Check out my breakdown on the different sectors. Sign up if you'd like to receive the blog sent directly to your email each and every week. Send it out every Sunday. Um, and if you like what you see, sign up to have it sent directly to your email for free. All right, that's it. Have Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a wonderful, safe, fantastic 4th of July. And I will see you all next week. Be careful out there and good luck trading.